Welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm LA Morgan. Let's do this. An earthquake that measured 6.0 on the Richter scale rocked northern Italy on Sunday, and the same region has suffered through numerous aftershocks. Just this morning, a 3.2 aftershock hit not far from the original quake's epicenter, rattling buildings and triggering flashbacks in the already frightened population. Seven people are reported to have died because of the quakes, thousands are displaced, and a number of cultural heritage sites are severely damaged. After the 6.0 quake hit, it was followed up by another tremor that measured 5.1 on the Richter scale. This resulted in further damages to already affected structures and heritage sites. It's been reported that centuries of history have been lost. Churches that were home to numerous pieces of art and a 14th century castle were badly damaged in the town of San Felice Sul Panero. One councilman reflected on the damage and said, beyond destroying some buildings, it has destroyed our history. Our monuments, our pride have been destroyed by this earthquake. Amidst the churches, castles, and clock towers are 11,000 people that are displaced in a country scrambling to pick up the pieces. The Italian government has sheltered 3,000 of the displaced in tents and hotels, but they're unable to assist everyone at this time. Numerous people are too scared to re-enter structures and have retreated to their cars for means of shelter. And as makeshift communities composed of these cars are popping up in parks, residents try to focus on the rebuilding while mourning the loss of their past. 72-year-old Luciano Frendo said, We have just lost our history. Four generations of my family lived here, and now it's gone. Our history has collapsed. A number of industrial and commercial enterprises were affected as well. One of the hardest hit was the cheese industry. Over 300,000 cheese wheels, estimated to be worth around $320 million, were destroyed after the quake through the upwards of 90-pound wheels from storage shelves. And numerous relief efforts have been mobilized, and the Italian Red Cross was one of the first organizations to respond. Italian Prime Minister Mario Monti is expected to return today and vowed all that is necessary will be done as soon as possible. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled on this story and if we find a place where you can make a donation to help with the relief effort, we will let you know about it on the Twitter. And let us know if you've ever been a part of any sort of natural disaster, big or small, and let us know your experience in the comments section down below. And then if you could, please like this video and subscribe to our channel and then hit this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to check out five stories of the day or any story we've ever covered at SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. We'll see you in a couple hours.